In this video, we're showing you how to install data packs in Minecraft. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And please do watch this video right until the end of the full steps. And let's go and get straight into this. Here we are on my computer and let's go and continue with this video. So the first step you need to go and do is open up your internet browser. So personally, I use Google Chrome, so I'm gonna use that. And then you just want to come to any search engine. And all you want to do is go and search for something called Planet Minecraft. Now Planet Minecraft is a huge website with tons of resources on it. And this is where we can go and find a ton of data packs. However, if there's some specific data packs you want, you can always go and search them on Google and just make sure you go and download them off a trusted website. Now, once you're here, all you want to do is go and click on Minecraft and then under content, you want to go and click on data packs. Just go and click on it just like so. And then it's going to take you to all of the data packs Planet Minecraft have on their website. So you can come and look at updated ones. You've got trending, new, best. I personally click on trending and see what's really popular. But something really important to know is, is when you go and look at these packs, you're going to go and see the version of Minecraft. For example, here, we've got 1.18. This means this sort of version of this data pack, sorry, is only going to be um, compatible on Minecraft 1.18. So if you're playing on Minecraft 1.17, this data pack isn't going to work. However, if you're playing on Minecraft 1.17, then this ambient fireflies would work. So it's just really important to go and check with compatibilities with what version of Minecraft you're playing and what data pack you're downloading. In this case, I'm playing on Minecraft 1.18, so this easy difficulty pack is going to work really well. So I'm going to go and click on it, just like so, and then scroll down, and all you want to do is go click on Download Data Pack, just like this, and it's going to go and drop the download. You may be taken to an ad wall, and if so, you just got to go to the top right and then go click on Skip Ad when you can. Now I'm just going to go and drag this folder onto my desktop. However, depending on what browser you use, you may find the zip file is in your Downloads folder in your File Explorer. So you may need to go and open it up and it'll be there. But for now, you can come and close off of Google Chrome just like this. Then as you can see, we've gone and got this file on our desktop. All you want to do is go and double click on it. And because it's a zip file, we've then got a few more folders inside of it. And you want to go and decide which version you want. If you're going to use Minecraft 1.17, then grab the 1.17 folder. But if you're playing on 1.18, grab the 1.18 folder. So I'm going to go and keep the 1.18 onto my desktop just like so. And there it is. Now we can come and close off of this file explorer. The next thing you want to do is go onto your keyboard and you want to go and press the Windows key and R. This is going to go and bring up something called Run and this is basically a way to go and get directly to a folder. As you can see, it says type the name of a program, folder, document or internet resource and Windows will open it for you. And all you want to do is type in percentage, then app, data, percentage again. Or it's really simple, I'll just type it in again for you. So percentage, app, data, percentage, just like that and then you can go and press OK. Then it's gonna go and take you straight to the folder, and all you want to do is come to dot .minecraft, as you can see at the top. Then you want to go and look for save, so we've got saves just down here, go and double click on it there. Now you've got to go and choose the world you want to go and install a data pack for. In this case, I want to put it on New World 4, so I'm gonna go and double click on New World 4, just like so, and once you've done that, you then got this folder called data packs, so you can go and double click it again. Then as you can see, it's currently empty as I've got no other data packs in it, and all you want to do is go and drag the folder, not the zip file, just a folder we brought out of the zip file into it. However, when it comes to these zip files, each of them are going to be slightly different, um, but just make sure it's the folder and not a zip file you put in here. And when you go and double click in the data pack, it's going to look like data and pack.mc meta, and that's how it should look. But now you've gone and successfully installed it, so we can close off of the file explorer, and let's go and open up Minecraft. And if you didn't know, you can come to the left of the play button, and here you can go and change the installation version of Minecraft. For example, I want to play on 1.18.2, so I'm going to go and select it, and then go and click play. Here we are on Minecraft, so all you want to do is go and click on single player, and then you want to go and open up the world which you just went and installed the data pack on. So I personally installed the data pack on New World 4, so I'm now going to go and play this game. Here we are in Minecraft, and now let's go and check if the data pack has been successfully installed. So the best you want to go and try is, is just to go and test it out. So in this case, with the data pack, I downloaded Easy Difficulty. When you go and get a, um, so a block of dirt, so I'll go and get uh, some dirt, let's pick it up, here it is. When you go and put it into the crafting table, you can then go and get a stack of diamonds. So let's go and put one piece of dirt in, and boom, as you can see, we then go and get 64 blocks of diamonds, and it's that easy, guys, and that is literally how um, it goes and works. And then we've gone and got these diamonds in, it's sort of for noobs. But of course, there are so many different data packs out there, so it's definitely worth going and checking them out. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. Peace.